Hi, my name's Andy. Um, today I want to share with you uh, something about hopefully repairing some uh, high impedance uh, headphones. These are headphones made by Sterling, uh, date from the 1920s, 1930s, something like that, so uh, 80 or 90 years old. Um, and uh, at the moment uh, they're open circuit. Uh, the joint resistance should be a total of something like 4,000 ohms but at the moment they're open circuit so we'll open them up and see what's going on. I should just add that I have checked that the, the leads are good and that there is continuity from both plugs to the terminals on the, the back of each of the uh, earphones. As you take these things apart, always make sure that you have somewhere to keep the uh, nuts and bolts safe. If you're not familiar with the components, uh, keep a little sketch pad and draw the position of the, the relevant pieces. These aren't complicated, uh, but uh, it's a good, good idea to do that. Underneath the uh, earphone uh, cover is a, a metal sheet. Now it wants to be slid off. Don't, uh, don't bend that or damage it. Inside the uh, earphone there's uh, two coils and uh, I'll take a, a, a still of those to, uh, to show you. Um, but uh, I know that one or both of them are open circuit, so I'm now going to slip them out. In this case, the uh, the magnets are held simply by a couple of uh, nuts on the back. And associated with these are uh, mica washers and a metal washer. The coils are fixed to the magnets. Uh, there's uh, an insulator that runs in the middle. Again, I'll take uh, uh, a, uh, a still of that to show you what's happening. Having disassembled uh, the, uh, the coils, I've established that this one is open circuit. The magnets are wound with incredibly thin wire and what we need to do is remove the outer layer of insulation very carefully. And we're in luck. The wire is broken where the uh, flying lead first makes contact. With the scalpel I've removed the insulation from the end of the wire and I now have continuity from both ends so now it's simply a case of resoldering the flying lead back onto the end of this wire. I'll get a close up and give you some idea of the size of this. I've now uh, twisted the end of the coil wire onto the lead wire and I'm just soldering it back into place. If you can learn to solder like this, it's very useful if you can hold the component that you want to solder in between those two fingers and then the, the solder between your finger and thumb. It's like having a third hand. It allows you to, to bring things together 
and to bring the solder to the joint. Very useful uh, thing to do. I've covered the joint with a small piece of tape. I use sellotape as it's, it's thick, fit for purpose and um, I'm just holding that jointed area in place with another piece of sellotape over the top. I will uh, replace the original insulation over the top uh, just to make it look nice. So here I've uh, refitted the black insulation around the outside and I've uh, put a, a little bit of adhesive uh, to hold it in place. I never know why these uh, coils go open circuit. Over the years I've repaired many of them. Unfortunately I've always found that the failure has been at the outer end of the coil. Uh, I think if it was at the inner end uh, I probably wouldn't bother because the prospect of trying to rewind the whole coil around this shape is quite tricky. Okay, I've reassembled the components. I've made sure that the mica washers are in place on either side of the casement on both studs. Uh, I've checked uh, to make sure that the uh, they are isolated from the case and that I've got the correct impedance. Make sure there's no uh, magnetic material, no iron filings or anything got stuck onto the pole pieces and uh, again gently slide the uh, steel plate into position. Okay the headphones have uh, been repaired. I had to carry out a repair on uh, both sides in actual fact. As I say, I, I never know why the, uh, the wires fail, it's probably corrosion, um, uh, but uh, it's taken uh, probably half an hour each side, um, it's taken longer because of stopping and starting to make the, uh, the video, but um, I've tried them, they're working on this uh, little crystal set, and uh, yeah, I've... Uh, I'm very pleased they're, uh, uh, they're working and it's better than throwing them away. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed that and I uh, hope that it uh, helps you to uh, have a go at uh, some that you may have that have failed of your own.